Hi everybody, it's Emma from Spurred On. Welcome to another match preview. We're looking ahead to the West Brom game and let's face it, we're all on a bit of a high right now. I've Big got time. the Craig Vi with the me. The Craig Vi. The Craig Vi. You're pretty happy at the moment? I'm very happy. Absolutely. So we're going to look ahead to the West Brom game because let's face it, we can beat Stoke, we can beat anybody. Everybody, bring them all on, I say. Uh, now, just to be clear and remind everybody, as we always do, we're filming this on a Tuesday. Mm. Um, obviously, we have no games between now and Monday, but if there's any injuries that happen in training, we won't know about those. So please don't yell at us if it turns out that, you know, we're, we're picking players that aren't actually um, fit or available. Yep. Okay, there's a disclaimer. Right, so let's start off with your score prediction, Craig. What do you think it's going to be against Three nil. 3-0. There is no way they're scoring against us. I'm saying that now. Right? <laughs> no way. There's no way. No way. Um, I mean, come on. They're awful. They are. They're dire. Uh, not, 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 not our dire. <laughs> they're diabolical, right? 3-0. The big 3-0. I mean... Who's going to score for you? Harry Kane. Of course. Deli Alley. Of course. And do you know what? Just, just for its and giggles. Its and giggles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that my mum bought me up right, okay? Oh, you're so polite. I know, I know, yeah. Just for its and giggles, right? I'm going to say Moussa Dembele. Moussa. Yeah, the moose. The big moose. Yeah, I just... I've, I've got it's a been bit... a while, actually, hasn't it? It has, it has. I've got a feeling in my bones. I just... He, he went close last night against Stoke, Very didn't close. he? Very close, and it would have been an absolute scream if oh, he had gone in. Yeah. It was and a lovely so shot. I just think, he, I think he's due a goal, mm -hmm. and uh, I think West Brom are going to be the people that take the punishment. Okay, well, I'm actually going to go even bolder than that. You are? I'm saying that we're going to win 4-0. I'm going back-to-back 4-0 -back wins. I don't have any fear. I agree with you. They're not going to score against us. They've got nothing. No. That boy, what was his name? Sido, Sado, that, who was he? <laughs> who is he? I'm sorry, no. 4-0, uh, and I also think the man Kane is going to score. I think mm -hmm. the boy Ali is going to score. I'm going to go cheeky goal for Eric Dyer because he's due one. He's not had one for a while. Mm. And, you know, he likes a cheeky header, maybe near post, you know, yeah. England-esque. Mm. And, and I, you like you like him, don't you, as well? As stop a, it. As a player. You, as, you, a player. as a player. As yeah, a player. Who doesn't? Okay. And I'm also going to go Musa because I think you're right. I think very, very close last night. Why can he not go all the way this time? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Love let's that. do it. Well, positive. Positive. It's all about the positives now. Mm. All about the positives. And also our, our wonderful fans, the home crowd, White Hart Lane is going to be rocking like it has it's been in be the electric. last few weeks. I think as soon as one goal goes in, floodgates are going to open. Yeah. So be afraid, West Brom. Be very, very afraid. Yeah. Uh, let's talk starting 11. I mean, for me, it's easy. It's totally unchanged. Of course, Vaughan totally goal. Totally unchanged. From <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's uh, always no. one, isn't there? It's always one. <laughs> As I was saying, you want to take this sensibly? Take yeah, go on, go on. Oh, go on okay. I can't, I can't. I'm too, I'm too excited. I'm too excited about all these matches. How can you take anything seriously right now? We're going <laughs> to win the league. I mean, this doesn't happen. <laughs> this this is never happens. Up, by the way, you need to check out this other video that's coming up about yeah. our league predictions. It's going to be great. Uh, but yeah, I'm saying unchanged from Stoke. That first 11 is our first 11 as far as I'm concerned. I have no interest in fiddling, tinkering, doing anything to it. No. Just let those boys go out and do what they want. No, I agree. I agree with you. But, but you don't just, agree with me. No, I've just got this you feeling. You don't agree with no, me. No, I know. Look, I've just got this feeling that, look, we've only got, what is it, four games left now? Four games left. Four games left. So why would okay? you tinker? Well, you wouldn't. But at the same time, it, it, you've got to manage the players and you've got to... And, with four and, games? I know, but he's done it all season. And, and I can just, I know it was when we had a lot of games going on. But the only thing I can see him changing, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. That's my disclaimer, right? Oh, but so I you're going against him. Poch to say, Poch is going to do it, but you wouldn't do that. N no, because <laughs> I'd be too scared. But look, I trust Poch. I, Poch can do whatever he likes. He could change the whole 11 if, if Poch he wanted to. If Poch wants to play Craig, that's fine. Yeah, please, fine. please. I do mean, <laughs> we would definitely lose then. <laughs> but um, So what are you saying going to be I, the changes? I, I've just got a feeling that he might start Trippier. Mm -hmm. And he might also start Davies. So you think it's a rotating fullback situation? I think it's a rotating fullback situation. I think, look, those boys work probably harder, harder than, than anyone else. else. I mean, they get up and down those lines like it's anything. It's like constant sprinting, like 100 yeah, metre sprints it is. all the time. And so I think I think Posh is going to look at this. He's going to look at the West Brom game being the easiest game that we have left. Okay. And I think he's going to think it would be a good idea to give Danny Rose and Carl Walker a rest. Okay, I, I, I can get on board with that. I mean, like you said, whatever Poch decides, I will say is the right yep. thing. But, you know, personally, I'd like to just keep that, like, keep that yeah, 11 yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, keep the winning 11 keep together. Winning I, can 11 together. I can see that, I can see that. Well, let's talk about a couple of memories. Um, one good, one bad. Uh, this corresponding fiction last season, we actually lost mm. in what was a horrific shock defeat result. 1-0 at home. James Morrison scored with about 15 minutes to go. Mm. It was not a happy day at the lane. We're a different side now, though. We're a, we day. are a completely different side. We are a completely different side. I think we've come on in leaps and bounds since last season. It's a different kettle of fish. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. 
<laughs> um, but on the more positive side, earlier on in the season, uh, I mean, we drew 1-1, which in itself is not necessarily that positive because they're a side we should be mm. beating. But we did have the boy, the boy, Ali. Scored, oh. a, scored a belter. Yeah, it, it was the long ball, wasn't it? Yeah. From um, I, I don't, no, I'm not going to call it a long ball. It wasn't a long ball. It was a, it was a, balls. it was a, it was a diagonal pass of beauty. Yes. From Toby. From Toby. Super Toby. Super and Toby. It, it, it was it the, uh, first time on the volley. I can't remember. Or did he was, take I, a touch? I, actually, or, oh, I think, I think it was he might on have, the volley. Did he chest it and then volley it? Yeah. I think so. Basically, whatever happened, it was amazing. Ali's love for Ali. Yeah. Love yeah. for Ali. What are you going to do? <sighs> and you know, we say Ali's going to score again on Monday, so it's big time. You know, Big time. More Maybe more. even the same goal again. That would embarrass him, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's like, here we go. You really, messed up last time. Yeah. It's exactly the really, same Really one. stick the knife in. Oh, that'd yeah. be fun. I look forward to that. But what about the 3-0? We beat them last January at their place. Yes. We beat them 3-0. Yeah, that's good. I don't know. I, well, I, I, that's what I'm saying. It's going to be 3-0 again. And there's the blueprint. There's the Oh, OK. It's well, look, I'll take that. I, I don't know, as long as it's 4-0, I don't care if I'm wrong. Maybe it'll be 5. Why Six. not? Oh, well, OK. Oh, easy. 9-1, <laughs> like the Wigan game. Hey, well, we could do it. Yeah, it's been a while since we've yeah. smacked that many goals past anybody. Mm. Maybe this is the night. Um, interestingly, though, like we're talking about goals and chances and mm. just general brilliance. Um, we need to have a word about stats for us recently, quite frankly, because we're basically the best. Stats love us. The stats at love us. Everything. And we love the stats. People say the stats can lie. Not in this case. Mm. We are the number one in the Premier League for, are you ready? Yep. Deep breath. Hit me. Goals scored, chances created, goals conceded, goal difference, goals from set pieces, and we've conceded the fewest chances on goal as well. When you say the first for goals conceded, you yeah. don't mean that we've conceded the most, no, you mean we've conceded, conceded the, the least. least. Only 102 shots on goal. Amazing. Over 30, hang on, where are we now? 34 games? 34 games. games. So yeah. that's like... Three shots a game ish. That is incredible. That's nothing. That like is on incredible. target. So you think Hugo's probably only got to make two of those saves? And he, do, and he makes them every time. He does. Well, it's, it's a testament to how many clean sheets we've kept as oh, well, isn't it? Just, it's just it is. That's so, uh, that is so unlike un It's so unspursy. Like, isn't it? This is what, you know, I've talked about this earlier on in the season and I'm putting it back out there. Yeah. Spursy is dead. It's gone. It's it gone. It's gone. Poch Unless you took that Spursy and he chucked it out the yeah, window. He did. He completely chucked it out the window. The yeah. new Spursy now. Is you know oh look we just score loads of goals and keep clean sheets. Yeah, score because against us. If, score against us. If you, score against us if you can, if you like. But if you can, if which you, you can, probably can't. No. And if you do, well we'll come back and beat you anyway. Well yeah, exactly. I mean seriously, sixty-four goals we scored this season. Sixty-four. Unbelievable. And we've only conceded twenty-five, which <laughs> I don't think. Well, in fact, no, I don't think. I know. I've never been in my lifetime as a Spurs fan. Have we ever had a goal difference of plus? 39. Do you know what? In, in plus 39 in and there's lots still four seasons, games to go. Lots of seasons. A Negative. plus a plus goal difference. Was a triumph. Well, absolutely. Plus two. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, that yeah. was like a benchmark. This like, is unheard oh, of. We've got absolutely to positive un figures. And talking, to, talking about unheard of, 17 goals from set pieces. When Spurs did, don't score from set pieces. When did we get good at set pieces? When did that happen? I mean, other than direct free kicks, you've had your bales. Obviously, Van der Vaart was pretty special at yeah. those as well. Ericsson now, of course. Ericsson, but of course. But you know, corners. Yes. Yeah. We don't score from corners, but we do. But we, we do, do now. We do now. That's we do Spursy. Now. And we also defend set pieces really well as well, which is something we oh, never used to be able to amazing. do. Amazing. Ever, ever, ever. So, I mean, you know, the incredibleness goes on. Yeah. Uh, do you know how many chances we've created this season? I'm going to give a rough guess of <laughs> 449. Oh, you are amazing. You're on fire. Crazy on fire. <laughs> Oh, Anyone who think we discussed this beforehand? I was just totting them up in my head. I was just I was going through each one at it's a time. Just I was just seeing one the picture. One, one, one. Yeah, four hundred and forty-nine chances. I, 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 That's more than ten a game. I can't. Unless my math is really bad. No. Wait, I don't know. I wouldn't even try and add more, that up. That's been three hundred and forty. Yeah, more I than ten a game. I literally can't speak when I hear that. I mean, <laughs> we've always been a, a beautiful side to watch. We've always been always good sexy attacking. Football. Always sexy football. But that, oh, oh my I, God. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. What can you say? You do kind of run out of words, and I think it just shows that we deserve to win the league. I know we've said about this a few times, but I mean, we are the best yep. team in the league. Leicester can bore their way to the title if they want. We all know who the best team in England really is. It's us. It's us. It's us. It's us. I'm telling you. Yeah, we're in the we're we're going to the pants party. There's a party <laughs> in our pants right now. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I think that might be a good place to end it, to be quite honest. So let us know what you think. 
Pat's party, really. Yeah, well. <laughs> Let us know what you, what you think the West Brom score is going to be. Are you being massively optimistic like us? Do you think we're not being optimistic enough? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Drop us a like on Facebook. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, it's Emma from Spurred On. Welcome to another big conversation. I'm joined by the lovely Craig Vi. Hi, guys. All right? Little. Yeah, yeah, that's my thing. Is that your thing? Yeah, yeah. That's your thing.